Hey, I'm John with John Benton Model Fitness. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on upper body and arm toning. This workout is great for upper body. You can incorporate these workouts with our previous workouts, but this one is all about upper body and arm. So the only equipment that you're gonna need is two to five pound dumbbells. We're gonna do five circuits. Let's go. We're gonna do 50 of the jump twist with a punch. So with these, you're doing a jump rope type of a pace. Keep your abs as tight as you can. Lean back a little bit. You're gonna feel this warming up your core this way and this way. Then with a little punch, you're gonna feel that warming up your arms too. So it's a little bit of cardio, a little bit of upper body toning, a little bit of core toning. So then we're gonna go straight into 20 of the fly crunches. So. It's a stretch and crunch, you wanna stretch all the way back. So see how Molly, when she lays down, she's pulling her back up off the mat. We want your back to come up off the mat. When you do that, when you feel your back start to come up off the mat, take a small breath of air. That's going to fill your lungs with air, that's going to expand your rib cage, and you're gonna feel that ab crack line down the center of your core. So you can see that right there, like Molly's, that ab crack down the center of her core, we want that. So we want that really feminine, very athletic and strong, but very feminine type of a core. Then with your dumbbells, you're just giving a big hug. So just a big hug as you crunch up, you're gonna feel that toning your upper outer armpit chest area. So a lot of girls have, that's an issue a lot of girls have a problem with, that kind of like area where, you know, you put on a dress, a bathing suit, sports bra, and everything looks great, except that little area that kind of squishes out the side. We're trying to tone that area up. So. We're gonna do two sets of each one of these circuits. So keep your abs as tight as you can. We wanna keep your heart rate elevated the entire workout. That way we're burning calories and fat the whole time. All right, second set. All right, perfect. So take that breath when your back comes up right there and then exhale when you go up. Inhale, exhale, 20 reps. All right. Form is perfect for Molly. I love that outfit too. It compliments the mat and the sign. I like it. Yep. <laughs> All right. Like over exaggerate that stretch when your back comes up off the floor when you lay down. All right. That's perfect. The form is amazing. All right. All right. Move on to the second circuit. We're gonna do 30 of the half jacks with a bicep curl. So we're wanting to warm up your biceps and keep your heart rate elevated. So 30 reps. All right, perfect. Once again, you wanna keep your abs tight. With all the bouncy cardio that we do, we want to keep your abs tight. So all the bouncy cardio is really good at keeping your body rate, or your, I'm sorry, your, your heart rate up and your body more effective and efficient at burning calories and fat the whole time we're doing these workouts. So. We're gonna do 30, then we're gonna go right into 15 tricep kickbacks. So chest out, lean forward, bend your knees a little bit. You wanna glue your upper arms to your side and then lock your elbows out. So you're just using your dumbbells and your triceps and your elbows to lock your elbows out to flex your triceps. So 15, all right, perfect. We're using these light weights because we wanna keep your upper body very athletic and toned, but not big and bulky too. So we're not using heavy weights. All right, go right into 15 reverse flies for upper, upper back. So this one is really good at toning up those little muscles in your upper back that look really good in like a dress or a bathing suit. Once again, without overly bulking your back. Um, some girls can actually build lat muscles pretty quick, trap muscles pretty quick. We're, we don't want that. We want to keep everything, once again, very athletic and toned, but still very feminine at the same time. All right, you feeling that? I am. Okay, good, yeah. Doesn't seem like much, but it is, it is. All right, right back to cardio. Perfect. So two sets, all right, looking good. Abs tight. Once again, this workout is great for upper body. And with these workouts too, you can incorporate these workouts with our previous workouts to throw in some booty exercises, some abs, some inner thigh, it's really up to you. But this one is all about upper body and arms. All right, flex those triceps. See, that's what we're looking for. Very athletic tone muscles, not big and bulky, 
and definitely not just skinny. If you completely negate your upper body, which a lot of people do if they're trying to lose weight, if they're trying to, to drop measurements, a lot of people just completely negate their upper body and it just gets kind of more just skinny and not toned. We wanna keep everything very toned and athletic. All right, perfect. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Good. Perfect. And you gotta make sure too, you don't want your dumbbells way down here in front of your hips. If you come up like that, that's gonna use a little bit too much of your trap muscles. And some girls can actually build trap muscle pretty quick. And that could eventually lead to getting more of like a, like a masculine type of a, like a neck shoulder area. We don't want that. So, all right, perfect. All right, circuit number three. If you need to drop the weights, grab some water. Absolutely go for it, guys. So within each circuit, really try not to take any breaks or breathers. In between each circuit, if you wanna take a five second break, grab a little water, absolutely go for it, that's fine. We wanna make sure that your heart rate is up and elevated, but don't deny yourself if you need a little breather or some water. All right, so next, we're gonna go right into half jacks with a little more upper back. So, we're gonna do the half jacks again, but this time, we're gonna do 30 rows right here. So once your elbow's slightly down, not all the way up, not all the way down to your side, you wanna pull your dumbbells into your armpits and squeeze your shoulder blades. All right, so we're gonna do 30, perfect. So it's cardio and rows at the same time. So if you haven't noticed, we like to do a lot of multitasking with these workouts. So cardio and upper back. Um, previous workouts, we do like inner thigh and triceps, uh, booty and chest toning. So this workout is no different. So we're gonna do 30, and then we're gonna go right into 12 and 12 of the staggered push-ups for triceps. So we're gonna go down to the floor. So a normal push-up is right about here, um, hands about shoulder width apart. With this one, I want you to Bring your hands together and get one hand maybe about a foot in front of the other. It's a really short push-up. You're gonna go down maybe like an inch or two, but you wanna lock your elbows out. We'll do 12 and then 12 the other way. Perfect. The main thing with this one is you don't wanna go down too far with this one with the stagger push-up. You're gonna feel that way too much in your elbows. Yeah, it's, it's, a short, it's a short range of motion. Perfect. So 12 and then 12. But the other main thing is you have to lock your elbows out. You can only get 100% contraction of your triceps if you lock your elbows out. All right, that's perfect form. 12 and 12. All right, right back up for cardio. All right, you're doing great, Molly. <laughs> All right. Remember this one, don't just pull your, your dumbbells in right here. You gotta pull your dumbbells in, keep your abs tight, and squeeze your shoulder blades together as tight as you can. You're gonna feel that burning your upper back immediately once you really focus on squeezing your shoulder blades. All right, it's looking good. <laughs> yeah, these light weights, they're deceiving. It's, it's deceiving for upper body, I promise you guys. It doesn't sound like much. We're using three pound dumbbells. It, yeah, I got you. Yeah, it's deceiving. If I, sometimes I tell people we use three, four, five pound dumbbells, and they're like, that's it? And I'm like, just do one of the workouts and report back. It's, it's plenty for, for what we're trying to do. More of the toning um, rather than bulking. All right, perfect. Keep your abs tight, booty down. All right, looking good. All right. So let's do this. Let's take a quick little breather. Let's take, give about five seconds rest. Let's stretch your triceps out, grab a little water. So stretch, stretch. Whichever way you wanna stretch your upper body, give it a quick little breather. All right. All right, now for the fourth circuit, we're gonna start with cardio again. So we're gonna do the half jacks again, but this time we're gonna have your dumbbells right here. You're gonna go out and up, out, up. So. It's a little light cardio and a little light upper body, arm, shoulder toning. And when you go up, I don't want you to go all the way up. Go from about chin to about forehead level. So like I mentioned earlier, if you do too much for your trap muscles, it could build up some trap muscles over time. We don't want that. So it's a wide range of motion all the way out and then a short motion all the way up. All right, so we're gonna do 30, then we're gonna go down, drop the dumbbells. And then we're gonna do 12 of the wide push-ups with a twist. So with these, I actually want you to go down a normal push-up, get your hands on the outside of your mat and your feet on the outside of the mat. And it, once again, it's a really short push-up. So go down maybe like two inches, keep your abs tight, up and twist your body. So keep your abs tight, you're gonna twist. So the wider the push-up that you go for, the wider your hands are, the more it's gonna use that kind of like wide chest armpit area that I, I mentioned previously. 
So you're gonna feel this in your chest, your shoulders, your triceps, but mainly this area right there. But if you keep your abs tight and your booty down, when you twist, focus on twisting your core, keeping your abs tight. You're gonna feel a big twist in your abs. We want that. So we're going for 12 and it's six each side, 12 total. All right, right back up. All right, right back up for 30. And if you like these types of workouts, we do a lot more variations of all of these in our Zoom classes. And the good thing with our Zoom classes too is we have engagement. Like I talk to everybody, there's somebody demoing behind me. So I answer questions, I watch your form, I make sure that your form is on, um, I can fix anything for you. So the Zoom classes, if you like these types of workouts, highly recommend checking them out. The description and the link is gonna be uh, down below. So we would love to see you guys in the Zoom class. Molly clearly joins in quite a bit. All right, doing great, Molly. All right, round two. Yeah. All right, keep those abs tight. All right, upper body is looking amazing. And that's, that's the thing too, with, with these workouts, you don't need to go to a gym. You don't need to spend a ton of money on a membership or go somewhere where you have all these, these big fancy machines. We're not trying to become bodybuilders, so you don't need all of that weight, all those machines. You can do these completely either body weight only or using the most basic equipment that you can get anywhere. All right. All right. All right, doing good, okay. So let's once again, take a quick little breather, grab a little water if you want to. You good? Good. All right, you're awesome. Okay, so next, we're gonna do 50 of the jump twist with a Russian twist. So it's the jump twist, but you're gonna hold your dumbbells, and it's like you're doing a Russian twist and cardio at the same time. So we'll do 50, and it's 25 each side. So 50 total, 25 each side. All right, and this is gonna be the last circuit. All right, so 50 total. Then we're gonna go down back to a push-up position. So let's get your hands about the widest part of the mat. They don't have to go as far outside of the mat like last time. So get your hands for the, the widest part of the mat, and then all you're gonna do is rock back and forth and tap your shoulders. So once again, booty down, abs tight. You're gonna feel this warming up your, not warming up, burning up, <laughs> your shoulders, your chest, your triceps. If you keep your booty down and your abs tight, you're gonna feel this in your core. Like each time you rock side to side, you're gonna feel your obliques, your abs. You're gonna feel that stretch. We want that stretch. All right, got one more set. All right, abs tight. Once again, lean back a little bit. You're gonna feel that stretch this way and just leaning back a little bit, you're gonna feel that stretch this way as well. We want that stretch. It's all about lengthening and elongating. Not just your core, but your entire body. That's the main goal with these. All right, last set. Perfect, take those little short breaths. Six on each side, 12 total. Looking good. Woo. All right. Molly, right. killed it. That was awesome. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you would like to learn more about these workouts and many more that complement this style of working out, you can join our live interactive Zoom class. The link is gonna be in the description below. We hope to see you in a class soon. Thank you, Molly. Thank you. Bye, guys.